Hello and welcome to another update video about TRB. Um, quick update here after TRB reached the ideal target for this fifth wave that we've been tracking. Um, we have seen a bit of a decline actually quite quite strongly. I mean it dropped from $75 to $53 in, in what was that a couple of days. Yeah. Um, the idea is still in the primary count that this is just let me just zoom out a bit that this is just an A B C structure and it could come down quite dramatically. Okay, possibly even to five to six dollars. That's certainly a risk that is there on this chart. If you think that's unrealistic, I mean, it dropped from what was it like $77 to 50 in a couple of days. So that's not impossible. But yeah, okay, I get it. You know, it could give us an extension to the upside. So of course I give you bullish support as well, but first and foremost, the, in my opinion, highest probability portion of the move is done. So that's very important to understand. The portion of this move to the upside, which was high probability, is basically done. Now, yes, we could get another four and five, maybe not. Um, the thing is, if we have an ABC structure, then this C wave is basically um, what was probable. Yeah? And do we get another four and five extension? Possible, okay? Is it probable? Well, there is obviously a key level that we can watch um, for as support, as bullish support. And if that level breaks to the downside, then an extension to the upside will certainly become much less probable. And that would also then open the door to that sort of $5 range. You know, we can specify that more precisely once we get closer, should we get closer, but I guess at that point, nobody would be interested anymore. So now is the time where some people are at least interested in TRB, um, as long as the price keeps climbing. So we can already see that, you know, this B wave was technically complete. We talked about five waves up and um, five waves in the C wave, and that was all filled in nicely. And the ideal target was reached. And we are still within the retracement zone, the re resistance zone, basically. Now the idea is, okay, is this B wave complete and do we crash down? So far it's holding okay. yeah, And therefore already in the last update, or at least on Discord and Telegram, I think it might have been, um, I indicated what needs to be the bullish support for us to push higher. And it would be the blue count, yeah, which is now bullish. I mean, the same way that this white wave 4 found support on the 6th of October, it could be that in the blue wave count, we now come down a little lower in the fourth wave into the region between 27 and $34. That is what I would ideally expect um, before we go higher in the fifth wave. So do we have to go down that low? No, but it would be ideal to at least get to $34, $35. Um, I already indicated to you when we were here that um, a reasonable strategy because the chart is not impulsive. So the chart is not impulsive. So we need to be, we, we shouldn't be looking for the, you know, the highest precision counts and the answers to all of our questions. However, you know, how about just scaling in into support and then scaling out as we go higher, basically how a, like a grid bot would, would do it. We're obviously quite far away from support now. So if I was buying now, I would probably keep it small. The closer we get to that support range down, down here, you know, the position size can obviously grow larger. But what kind of position size, how you manage that with your own risk and everything, that depends on you and your trading plan. However, scaling in in batches on the way down and then taking profits when the market makes them available is probably a reasonable strategy here. So what I'm watching for now is potential decline into that support area over the coming weeks. Um, it's at the moment unclear what this is here. Yeah. However, it could be that this way four is obviously playing out as an ABC structure. So we haven't got enough price data to suggest yet how that would unfold, but the way four should take a bit of time, ideally. I mean, um, a few weeks, two to three weeks would be ideal. Just comparing it with the length of the wave two down there. We'll see how that plays out, right? We'll see. Um, yeah, no, that's sort of what we are dealing with here at the moment. And um, just thinking, is there anything else? No, it's just that if we get the blue wave count completed, you know, so if we get five waves up really from here, 
then we can watch for the ABC pullback, the three wave correction afterwards for a, um, well, for a one, two setup, yeah, for a long trade setup. At the moment, this is a little, well, it's, it's at least not a perfect structure. So you need to give it a bit of space and need to be a bit flexible in this range, but the parameters are pretty clear. And obviously a breakout point to the upside is $79. I cannot really give you an extension target for the wave five in blue because so far we haven't got a confirmed low in place for wave four in blue. That's my update about TRB. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.